Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Frontier Pilot Simulator. We've uh, just delivered some f flora samples over to this place and I don't think they've got anything to sell. No, they don't. So we're gonna possibly pick up the passenger. As a regular customer, we would like to offer you a new ship, Ox. Fourth modification with variable wing geometry and improved free flight. Available to purchase right now in the spaceport hangar. Okay. So where do we... He wants to go to... N I don't want help. He wants to go to Nord? So he wants to go to Nord and then we can just go over there. I suppose that's okay. Let's uh, discuss the route. Will you take me to Nord, buddy? Certainly. Of course we will. Okay, Nord is already selected. That's nice that we don't have to do that ourselves because we're lazy. Guys coming in. Yeah, it would I'm inside. Let's go to Nord. It would be really nice to have traffic. I mean, other traffic in the game, both air and otherwise. Uh, much more pilot chatter and such. But like I said, this is a... I've I have no idea what they were talking about. It's too quiet. And the engines are too loud. But yeah, anyway, I and you know, I fully understand that uh oh I see the fridge. <laughs> I fully understand that this is a very, very small development team working pretty much on a shoestring budget, if at that. I mean I'm actually amazed that these guys are just pushing through. God, I wish they they would have made the Kickstarter goal. This is one of the those games I really truly believe deserves it all because they're trying something new, a very niche sort of game. And there is my stop. Thank you for the flight, Captain. May you come out? Or thank you for a flight. Really needs proofreading this. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I'll pay you 1,444 credits. I think it depends on how long you take. MTG batteries. No, not going to take that. We are going to recharge, though. And where does that passenger want to go? Yeah, uh, crashing is pretty bad in this game. You can get damaged and destroyed very very easily and quickly so you don't want to do that where is this guy going where are you going sir Bora I need to go to Bora not now let's see no wh why is it giving me the help thing <laughs> Oh, he wants to go back. No, no, no. We're going to the equipment box this time around. Hi, how's it going? Can you imagine? I could not declare those drones after all. Planetary security states that the rules have recently changed and drones now fall into the c category of military equipment. I found a guy who would love to buy them, but quietly, on the upper deck. And yes, I will owe you one. Okay, where's that then? It's over there. All right. So let's go do this equipment thing first. Even though I think we're kind of skipping the story a little bit, we should be doing this equipment box after the drones. But let's do it anyway. Man, music. I actually heard the con conversation this time. There's a store coming. Man, that's so cool. Seeing the engines turn and burn. And yep. Let's just recharge. Water from Seoul. Interesting. Purified and hermetically packaged drinking water. It does not fit into the ship and is too heavy for takeoff. 
So this time around it actually tells you. A while ago when I was playing the game, it didn't tell you if something would be too heavy to actually lift off with. So you would be all like, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy this because I can sell it for a lot later somewhere. And then you realized at full power, you're not even getting off the ground. <laughs> oh man, it's just... yeah. Where does that passenger go? I wonder. I'm gonna get the equipment box first. Uh, okay, let's load this. I think they'll want us to uh, put it somewhere randomly. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Oh, deliver equipment. Okay. So where is that? Oh, it's Bora. See, now you guys can go to Bora. Well, they probably won't want to. Let me guess, you're not going to Bora? <coughs> Excuse me. Our ship is getting somewhere in tear. It's actually right to Bora. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know if passengers actually count for weight. Let's see. We're 8 tons 83. No, I don't think so. This is only one ton for this cargo. Oh yeah, wait a second. I'm actually gonna go over here because the I don't want to go right over to the top of the mountain. There's no point. And these engines are really nice. Okay, so we need to go there. Deliver equipment. Oh, what is going on with our engines? They're uh, smoking. We'll have to repair. See, now I'm at full power and accelerating, but now I'm starting to lose uh, altitude, so I have to take it a little easy on the forward acceleration. Um, yeah. Right? Okay. I don't need AR mode, but... See, it's gonna be pretty useful for stuff like this. Man, that's cool. You know what this reminds me of? Aliens 2. When they, uh... When they're going down with the dropship. Like yeah, patience and uh, doing things, doing maneuvers carefully pays off in this game. Even though I know full well that I'm sometimes not really that careful or patient. Actually, full power here just so we don't lose too much altitude. Or we don't have uh, too high of a descent rate. I hope that guy will uh, decide to get out here as well. I hate the fact that the time limit on passenger transports all seem to be one minute. It's kind of too quick. The right place, there you go. Because now, instead of paying me like 1500 he's going to pay me... Oh, more than 1500 I take it back. That's weird. I could have sworn they pay you a lot less. Hi and thanks for the shipment. My name is Tybalt. Uh, I've just arrived from Atlantis and already we're in such a mess. Atlantis? The planet OCR-14 is commonly called Atlantis. It's a giant planet completely covered by ocean. I was the head of research there, focusing on marine life forms, so you guess what we're going to do here? Finally I get the equipment. Now we can start field research. Please find a sample of our guest and deliver it to me. Me? Isn't it dangerous? Do not worry, the rumors are highly exaggerated. I'm the one who is taking all the risk here. Yeah. Usually such creatures are completely harmless. However, many of my colleagues have ended up in the hospital after inhaling spores or other toxins. Just be careful. If you see or hear anything strange, leave this place right away. Hmm. English. Let's go, uh... Get some energy. Unfortunately, I don't think these guys have a repair hangar. Okay, sharp turn. Ooh. I don't know if this ship doesn't have the different motion modes. 
but I cannot seem to turn it on where you can actually drift in a way or strafe I suppose if you want right uh, so now we need to go there buy a ship cargo for spaceway ship all right so let's just go over there unfortunately we're going there empty but oh well well we've got 22,000 I might not repair this ship the, the scarab I might just oh shoot did I just go over a geyser aggressive environment oh. did I just go over a geyser that would have been bad if it started uh, shooting stuff that would have been very bad it can damage your ship quite easily and quite quickly okay I don't know if we have enough money to actually How is ship? Yeah. Thanks, Kyle. I'm sending capsules on non destructible. Yeah. Good for What? They were talking about a new pilot that just went over a volcano or something? Something like that, I think. So let's see if we can afford a new ship already. I have a feeling no. Let's see. I guess they will have to add some actual penalties for destroying your ship because right now I suppose it would be cheaper to actually just crash this ship instead of uh, repairing it even though it only costs 66 credits wow okay that's really cheap um ships so we've got this is a scarab no it's 29,000 Okay, medium transport ship with variable sweet wing, two flight modes, VTOL and airplane, and a maximum carrying capacity of up to 10 tons. Performs well over long distances and in difficult flight conditions. And ours is a budget ship for light aviation with a maximum carrying capacity up to 5 tons, intended only for short and medium distance flights. So, yeah. And there's a Balena, 160! Heavy multifunctional ship with variable sweep wing, two flight modes, retail an airplane, and a maximum carrying capacity of up to 15 tons. So much of an upgrade for such a such money. Jeez. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just uh, repair. No, I don't want to exit the hangar. There was no way to. No. I want to repair, please. All right. Go right back. <laughs> I suppose I could push it and just keep flying with this ship, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's 66 credits. Come on, even I'm not that much of a cheapskate. I think repairs should cost more, and insurance should cost. Just to give you an incentive not to just crash and be done with it. Alright. I could have recharged as well. Oh well, never mind. We have enough to fly to wherever we are needed. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, it's right here. Bridge points. What's at bridge point? So cargo for a cargo, a cargo spaceway. Uh, we basically just have to go straight up for this one, if I remember correctly. Yeah, up, up to that spaceship. Oh wow, was it? Was it using its thrusters? Yeah, it is! Look at that! Oh, that's cool, of course, because it's docked, but I suppose it's still using its thrusters to keep uh, in the air? Uh, I don't know. Alright, let's load this. It's two tons. It looks like it wouldn't fit, but hey, cram that in there. Great, loading finished. Here are the exact coordinates. Should be straight on the cargo spaceway at upper deck. Be careful. Alright, just keep going straight up. Look at that, that looks so cool. I kind of don't like the fact that they made these engines sort of pulsate. I liked it before where they uh, glowed more the more thrust you gave them. Alright, 
right, where is it? There we go. That's where we need to go. Oh, definitely heavier now. I mean, it says we can transport up to five tons, but I don't know how the heck you could do five tons. Yep. Perfect. Look at that. 2,000 credits. Thank you. I have reported that the cargo is on the spot. Here's your share of 2,000 credits. Alright, I don't think this cargo spaceway here has... No. Can't recharge. I think you used to be able to. And over there, I think there used to be a hangar where you could buy stuff. Maybe on the big island. buy a ship. We still don't have enough for that. So why do I have bridge points selected? What's going on there? Did I select it by mistake before? I'm not sure. Man, these engines are very powerful when you're not loaded with anything. Makes the ship very agile. Oh, this music. Getting pushed by the wind. Brilliant. There's nothing here. Alright, so let's see what, what the most profitable thing would be. Uh, they produce biolocate. Biolocators? Four tons. Wait, how much do they buy the biolocators for? Uh, they don't want them. They don't want them. They don't want them. So, I guess that's for the other island. Oh, B2 rations, I think, are going to be the most profitable. But otherwise, yeah. If you... See? This is a big island here. Look at that. Yeah. That's so cool. There's another cargo spaceway there. Alright. So I suppose we're gonna get more rations. Oh, they, uh, they're needed there. So do these guys produce rations? But Oh yeah, look at that. Biolocators are needed there. But with four tons, there is no way we can actually get there. No way. They've got empty batteries. So let's see. Yeah. You can sell it for 1400 That's actually a huge amount of money for a very small investment, but in total, it's not a lot of money. <laughs> they produce flora samples. 500 credits for 2200 More MTG batteries. I could get these and then get some more MTG batteries here. Yeah, that's what I could do. So go to Nord and buy this stuff. Seaweed unknown. Whoa! It's not really very worth it. Ooh, they wanted an Aslan? I don't know. So let's go over there. Eh? Excellent. All right, let's go. We need to make twenty-nine, at least twenty-nine thousand credits to be able to afford the bigger ship. But of course, as always, it would be nice to have some extra money to spare it for, you know, repairs, recharges, and so on. I love this game. No idea what he said. Actually, I can join you tonight. Task 
I don't know what they were talking about. Something. I shut off my engine. I mean, I went to zero thrust to be able to hear something. Actually, you know what? I'm going around here. I don't want to be that close to that geyser. I don't know. This this game. Whoa, 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 whoa! Full power. This game gives me a pretty good immersion of actually being a frontier pilot in the far future on an alien planet. It needs more content, of course, and, and such, more polish and more optimization, especially, but it's just fun. Alright, there we go. We can recharge and get some empty batteries and recharge in the meantime, because otherwise it takes time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below if you're enjoying this Let's Play, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.